Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video I'll be going over how to add what's playing now to your stream and how you can turn on commands so that your chat can skip or request songs. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Today I'll be covering one of the many ways to get your music you're playing to show up on your Twitch stream. This will also let your chat use commands to skip and request songs as a bonus. I will be covering more ways to do this in the future using Spotify and other apps and plugins, so make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss those. For this example, I'll be going over how to do this using Stream Elements and OBS using the OBS.Live plugin. If you don't have or know how to install OBS.Live plugin from Stream Elements, I have a video covering how to install and set up OBS Live with OBS, and I'll make sure to leave that link in the description below. But you can do all of this on StreamElements.com without having the OBS.Live plugin, so it's not needed, it's just very handy, and I'll be covering both ways to access it. Once you have all that set up, you should have Stream Elements tab in your OBS right here at the top, and it will have a drop down menu. This drop down menu is going to have a couple of options. We want to go to the se.live docs and in here we will see the media request. Once you click it will be showing somewheres here in your overlay. Uh, it might be hidden at first you can pop it out and do some other things but it should show up and you might have to look for it in a tab here. It'll just add it somewheres in your OBS and now that it's showing in OBS it should say to add the widget to the overlay. So next we're going to do that. Jump over to streamelements.com and log in with your Twitch. Once in here, we want to go down to the streaming tools and click on my overlays. In here, we're just going to create a new overlay. You can add this to an existing overlay. This is just going to be so we can move it around later on as much as we want in OBS without having to go to stream elements every single time. So click create new overlay. In here, this part is not quite as straightforward as why I'm making this video. It says to add the widget, but not how to add it. It's very simple. First, we're going to just the overlay resolution. I would make this your base canvas resolution. Mine's 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to pick 1080p and click start. From here, you can click the add widget or you can go down here to this plus and click on it to expand a bunch of menus. The one we're looking for is engagement. This is where you're going to find the media request widget. All you need to do is click it to add it to the page. Okay, you'll want to make sure that you size it and place it on the screen wherever you would like it. I'm going to just place it right over here and size it the way you want. You can just drag it here as well. After that, you can go over here to the settings. Um, sometimes this here shows up like this here and you have to click on the media request one. Look, it'll show up like this and you can just click on the settings and once you click on the settings the media request one will disappear so if it looks a little different when you show up in here just note that once your settings isn't up here you can click on the layers it's going to show media request one so if, just make sure you click the settings under it it should be the same now this is going to give you a lot of things that you can play with so i suggest looking over things well this will show the time left show amount show video title show tipper username and show video statistics as well as the primary and accent colors of like what it's going to be. There's going to be a fill bar and a few other things. I'll go over that later on once it's showing on stream. But once you're in here, just click all these here ones you want and make it the color that you want. You can take a look at this. If you have your music playing, you'd be able to see the music coming up over here. Um, right now, we don't have any songs or anything to play right now. So I'm going to be starting in the exact same place everyone else is. One thing I am going to turn on though is the video statistics. And like I said, you want to go through here and change these things. If you want these different colors, make sure you change them now. It's a lot easier to do it when you're in here the first time. Next, we're just going to take a, a scroll down here and go to the text settings. I'm leaving mine stock, but definitely have a look in here and change things how you want them. Just to put your own little, add your own little spice to it. Add your personality to it. Make it the colors and fonts that you really enjoy and like to have. Or try to at least make it match with the rest of the stuff on your stream. So if you're using a certain font everywhere else like pick your font here I definitely suggest trying to make things match and kind of look so that it all goes together and make it cohesive that out of the way we're just going to close this we're leaving it stock because I'm just going through for the example and from here we just want to click this here save button and we definitely want to make sure that we name this so that we'll know what it is when we go back to find it later on so we're going to call it music 2 because I already have one oops I had to test this before so we're just going to call this music 2 and click save we're almost done now, we just need to copy the link from up here, and we can just copy the link by clicking here, 
Then we need to go back to our OBS. And in here, it's straightforward again. We, in the sources, we want to go down and click the plus and add a browser source. We're going to name the browser source music too, so we know what one it is. Click OK. Now in here, we want to paste the URL, what we just copied, goes in here. And we want to make it 1920 by 1080 so that it matches the exact canvas that we use. So it should fit the screen. We can change all this here stuff later on. So if you don't like it, you can come in here and change it. We just don't want it to be cut off or anything like that. I know this here fits the screen perfect, so that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, now you'll be able to place and size it how you want. I have it playing right here, and I placed it where I kind of wanted it in stream elements, and I'm gonna wait till there's a song playing before I change it any more than that. Now all we need to do is actually get this here playing and get a song added to it. There's three different ways that you can add a song to it in the widget, OBS, or the chat can do it as well. And you can also skip, play, and show and stop showing on stream inside of OBS itself. That's why I like this way so much. You can just paste the YouTube link inside and add it to the queue. I'll launch it out here so we can see all the options. So it will give you a few things here. You can play, stop, skip, change the volume here, and show on stream. So you can click show on stream. And there it is. That's perfect. We'll give it a size right now. And we'll put it right here. We'll give that turn, we'll turn that music down just a little bit. Okay, it's playing on here too. So we're just going to click save and close this. Like I said, now that you have it all back to the size that you want it, you'll be able to show on stream, stop showing on stream. You can hear it playing right now. We'll just, we can mute that so that it doesn't, we don't hear it at all. But you can just play the cue, what's playing. You can copy paste the URL in here, or your chat can do exclamation mark song request and paste the link to any YouTube video in here. It'll come up in here and you'll be able to like go through it and see what it is before it plays chat can do it with the SR command and YouTube link in the chat if you have it enabled. I'll, I will show how to enable that coming up here next. And the last way is to go to streamelements.com. So you can go to streamelements.com and this here widget, you don't need to come back in here to access it. You need to come in to streamelements.com. So when it loads up to your dashboard, you go down to other, go down to media request and in here, we'll give that a pause so that it's not playing. In here, you'll have the viewer request. You can turn this on or off. I turn this on so that my viewers can request. And the queue moderation, this will like just request all the songs that are requested is approved by you before it'll actually play. This is great if you're worried about copyright songs or something like that. You can just click this here on so that you don't have to worry about it. So it'll just say pending approval and you'll be able to check it over just before you use it. And it's the same thing here. You can just paste in any YouTube video and just add it there. And then it'll just add it to the queue. It does, that's the White Lotus from YouTube from Harris Heller, Stream Beats. You should definitely go check them out. It's great free music. I just paste the YouTube link in here and it just adds it. Now for a few more options, you can see everything's up here and you can see what's playing. It'll have a list over here. This will also uh, let you toggle it on and off stream as well. So uh, you'll be able to do all of the things in here that you can do inside of OBS as well. So you can toggle on and off your stream in here as well as in here. So that's what I like about the OBS.live. It allows you just to do everything in your OBS instead of having to have browsers open. Okay, now that's out of the way, we're just gonna click on the settings again. And yes, we wanna stop the share and go to the settings. We have to click on the settings again after that notification comes up, then we have to click on the settings. This is pretty straightforward. At the top, you can pick if the requests are free, via tip or both. I leave this here on both because I want everyone to take part, but this allows you later on to have it so that paid or tipped requests will be pushed to the front. The next one under that is autoplay media. Unless you're gonna click play on each individual song uh, requested, I definitely suggest leaving this on autoplay if you just want it to be like background sound all of the time. That allows you to give it a check before it plays as well. Next on the list is your queue limit. Uh, so your queue limit is 10. That allows like 10 total requests. It allows your max free re request duration. So seven minutes 
and your max paid request seven minutes uh max free request per user is five so they can only request five per per stream you can only request five different ones you can change this however you like you you might if you only have one or two people that ever request songs and you like that you could probably put this up to more so that there is no max request so that user would be able to like do as many as they want next on the list here is a backup playlist i suggest going through and making your own playlist Go into your YouTube, make a playlist, add a few songs to it, add it to this pure backup playlist in case there's just nobody requested music. So make sure that some of your favorite music, some stuff that you like to listen to, some of the stuff your chat likes to listen to, or things that get requested off, and just add those to your backup playlist so you always have some music going when it's quiet or just when you need it. This here next one on the list, the bot and loyalty. I find this one here great. So your loyal loyalty points cost, these are not channel points. These are actually points that Stream Elements gives out, and the only thing I've actually seen them used for in chat so far is gambling. I love to see this this here added. There's something else, finally something else we can use our points for. So you can add a cost of loyalty points, you can add a subscriber discount, so if they're subscribed they get a 50%. I probably wouldn't do that. I'm gonna leave that at zero. If you're subscribed, you're gonna have to spend the same amount to go to the next song or request a song. And the minimal user level here, this will let you pick if you want everyone, subscribers, regular people, VIPs, moderators, super mods, or just the broadcaster to suggest songs. So you'll be able to limit this to just people that you trust. So you might want people to follow before they can request a song. You can just make that happen right here. I find this here great. I'm going to leave it on everyone because I don't have very many people in my chat and I want them all to request music. I don't want anyone to feel left out. The tip request is a pro I have it set to prioritize tipped request. This will let it so that, I'll just wave over it here, tip request will be placed above a non-tipped request. So these guys, if someone tips and requests a song, it'll be pushed to the top of the queue. I think that's awesome if someone's going to spend their money on it. It is nice to see that it's bumped up to the queue over top of the people that are just suggesting them for free or using points you just get from in chat. So I find that pretty cool. I'm leaving this here checkmarked. And you can enable the cost per second and minimal tip request. I left those at zeros and I didn't turn those on because th those are up to you. Use it how you want. I don't, I don't want to use those or get involved with that. Next one on the list is the YouTube. This will limit the music to the video blacklist. So you can blacklist videos, ban certain tags. So certain things that may be tagged in videos and uh, stream location. So you can pick like your area. So you can only stream location things that, that are made for that location and the auto filter i think this is pretty cool this allows you to set it so that it has to have a so high of a rating and so many views so like somebody can't just go on and upload a video for an lol and then just spam it for a request for it to play <laughs> so this here does have some safeguard i don't find it that useful but it does have a safeguard that somebody just can't go and upload their own video and spam it to you in your chat and the last on the list is the advanced this will allow you to skip the backup list mid-track upon a request. So if you want this here to stop playing just your normal music when someone requests the music, that's a good option. You can click that on. I super like that. And one I have enabled is skipped voting. So if somebody doesn't like this song, if they vote five times for it, it'll just go to the next song. And I exempt it moderator levels. Users with this role or higher will be exempt from loyalty points cost. So it won't cost my moderators anything at all to be able to suggest a song. So if things are quiet for a little bit, I'll let my mods have some fun and play the music they like to listen to. I gotta entertain someone. Might as well be the people that are there all the time, right? So I'm exempting them just for this example. And uh, this here delay at the bottom, I didn't really understand it and I'm not sure what it does. So I'm just gonna leave it at zero until I find an issue that I may need to change it for. But that's everything there is to it. I know this was uh, quite a lot of info to process at one time, but after that's all set up, your media request, once you have it in here and all done, you can just click it. It should be here on your stream and you should not hear it on your desktop. So mine's playing through right now. That's prime. I'm pretty sure you can right click on it click on properties and you can control via OBS as well and click OK. That will make it so that you can't hear it. This will make it so that you don't hear it on your desktop. This will make it so that you yourself doesn't hear it. This will make it so only your stream will hear it. So I just wanted to show that one last thing before I let you all go here. That's just one thing I found out, one trick I found. If you do listen to the music, if you control the audio via OBS, You'll have a little bit more control over it and you won't hear it in your head the whole entire time it's going. That might hurt it where you 
can't hear how loud it is compared to everything, but it does, does still give you a readout that you can change up and down. So I find that a lot better for my music and I super like that the way that it goes. And you can change this anywhere as you want and do lots of things with it. And like I said, you can stop showing on stream and then it'll come to your desktop. And then when you show it on stream, it'll only show it on stream and the sound will only be on stream. You won't be able to hear it. That's everything. You can play with this to your heart's content. Definitely do something crazy with it. At me at Twitter if you do something cool with it, want to show it off. I definitely want to see it. I just wanted to go through a quick run over of how to get this here up on your stream. There's a lot of people asking me how to get what's playing now on their stream. And this is just how you do it. You can change these colors. Like I said, you might not want that pink. You can go back and change those things in streamelements.com. Add your own little touches to it. And that's everything there is to it. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. But if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.